An elevator has a placard stating that the maximum capacity is 4,300 pounds, which is 28 passengers. So 28 adult male passengers can have a mean weight of up to 4,300 divided by 28, which is equal to 154 pounds. Assume that weights of males are normally distributed with a mean of 183 pounds and a standard deviation of 29 pounds. For part A, it says find the probability that one randomly selected adult male has a weight greater than 154 pounds. Okay, so notice that an individual value from a normally distributed population has been chosen, so therefore we're going to use the population distribution to determine the probability. So let's first draw our picture. Okay, so we're going to sketch our bell curve. And then we're going to make note of the mean. And the mean says that the assumed the weights of the male normally distribute with a mean of 183 pounds. So this mean is 183. And we know that the standard deviation is given to be 29 pounds. Okay. Now in the question for part A, it says, find the probability that one randomly selected adult has a weight that's greater than 154. Well, we first want to label where 154 is on our diagram, which is to the left of 183. So we would say that X is equal to 154. And what we want to do is we want to find the probability of when the weight is greater than that. So we're looking for the area that's being shaded to the right here. Okay. So in order to do that, what we need to do is find our z-score. So we're going to convert 154 to a z-score. So we know the formula for the z-score is equal to x. Well, first let's write down the given information. So we know that x is equal to 154. We know that our mean is 183. And we know the standard deviation is 29. So now we can find that z-score, which is the formula x minus the mean over the standard deviation. So x is 154. We're subtracting the mean of 183. And then we're going to divide that by 29. So let's go ahead and do that on our calculator. So we take 154, subtract 183, and then we're going to divide that by 29, and that gives us negative 1.00. So that tells us what the z-score is for that value. So underneath here, we're going to draw our z-axis where the mean is 0 now. And now this z-score for the x value of 154 is negative 1.00. And so what we want to do is we want to find the probability of when that z-score is going to be greater than or equal to negative 1.00. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and use StatCrunch. So let's open up StatCrunch. And then what we want to do is we want to open up the normal calculator so we're going to calculators and scroll all the way down to the normal distribution calculator okay and so what we're concerned is is we want to be able to find the z-score is greater than or equal to negative 1.00 we know the mean is zero the standard deviation is one we're going to change the inequality to point to the right and then we're going to put in negative 1.00 and then select compute and now it's given our area and we're going to round that to four def decimal places so we get 0 0.8413, 0 0.8413, and then that represents the area that's shaded to the right. So let's go ahead and put that in there to check. So 0 0.8413, and there is our result. Now it says, find the probability that a sample of 28 randomly selected adult males has a mean weight greater than 154 pounds. Okay, so in this case, the desired probability is for the mean of a sample of 28 adult male passengers. Therefore, we're going to use the central limit theorem. Now, the central limit theorem applies when a population has a normal distribution or the sample size n is greater than 30. Well, in this case here, 
it says that it's normally distributed so we don't have to be worried about the fact that it's greater than 30 so let's go ahead and draw our picture first okay so I'm going to draw a picture and again we're going to have the same looking distribution here where the mean is given to be 183 okay and we know that the value has to still be greater than uh, 154 so that means to the left of the mean we have an x value which equals 154 and then it says they want us to find the probability of it being greater than so we want to find the value that is greater so we're going to shade to the right okay now keep in mind here that since we're using the central limit theorem this mean is the mean of the sample means so we're going to write down the given information so that we can then apply it so what do we know we know the value of x is equal to 154 okay we know that the mean of the sample means is equal to the mean which is 183 we know the sample size for part B is 28 so that's 28 randomly selected adult males and then we want to find the standard deviation with the sample means now remember that this is the standard deviation divided by the square root of n and that standard deviation is 29 and then we're going to divide that by the square root of 28 now we're going to plug that into our formula so let's go ahead and do that okay so we know that the z-score is going to equal the value of x minus the mean of the sample means divided by the standard deviation of the sample means so we're going to plug that in so we got 154 minus 183 and then we're going to divide that by 29 over the square root of 28 and then we want to determine what is that z-score so again using parentheses is going to help when you're doing your calculation so in the numerator we have parentheses 154 minus 183 and then we're going to divide that by parentheses 29 divided by the square root of 28 and then we're going to close the parentheses and then press enter and now we get a z-score of negative five negative 5.29 so we get negative 5 point two nine okay so what does that tell us well now we can rewrite the z-axis so we know that the mean is going to be zero and we know that our z-score with the central limit theorem is going to be negative five point two nine so now what we want to do is we want to find the probability of when the z-score is going to be greater than or equal to negative five point two nine so now let's go ahead and then use stack crunch to determine that result. So we have our mean of zero, standard deviation of one. We want to make sure it's greater than or equal to, and then we're going to put in our z-score of negative 5.29, and then select compute. And you can see here that we end up getting 0 0.99999. We want to round it to four decimal places. So if we round it to four decimal places, that means we got to change all these nines to zeros. And then this last zero on the left is one, so it's going to be 1.0000. So let's go ahead and put that probability in here. We get 1.0000. Press enter, and then there's our result. Now the next question says, does the elevator appear to be safe? Well, in this case we're going to say no because there is a good chance that 28 randomly selected adult male passengers will exceed the elevator capacity so we're going to go ahead and select B and there is our result.